Mirendal Wine Estate is privately owned and has been developing into one of South Africa's top wine estates. The original family home has been converted into a boutique hotel, retaining all the grandeur and style and combining it with style and luxury to ensure five-star quality. With spectacular views over the vineyards and the Boerland Mountains, this hotel is a countryside haven. Merendal is also a beautiful venue for conferences and functions. And for those of you interested in romance and love, for their weddings, they even have a little chapel. Since 2012, Team Nierendal has represented the wine estate at the world's biggest and toughest mountain bike race, the Absa Cape Epic. This team features some of the biggest names in the world of mountain biking. You can enjoy a relaxed meal at the Crown Restaurant and Wine Bar, overlooking the immaculate vineyards, the rolling Tiger Bird Hills, and the dam where local bird life flourishes. The restaurant is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and offers a scrumptious menu of seasonal items with a natural touch and artful presentation, and paired with the award-winning Mirandel wines. The Mirandel Estate welcomes day visitors for a lot more than just food and wine. With its extensive network of trails, it's the ideal location for mountain biking, trail running, walking and other recreational activities. Their 5 kilometer park run is a simple turn up every Saturday and run or walk. The Kabuchi's Deli operates with a healthy delicatessen style menu. They focus on freshly made sandwiches, salads and breakfasts, sweets, beverages, basic groceries and freshly baked goods. Baluchi's has it all. The hills of Meerendal rise above the flat surrounding landscape, which is virtually at sea level. In the early morning hours, they're often even shrouded in mist. Together, these hills and valleys provide an almost endless variety of slopes, soil types and microclimates that make it possible to grow a range of classic cultivars with equal success. As you may know, the Durbanville area is amongst the coolest wine growing areas in the Cape Winelands and benefits from receiving very little rain during the summer. After finishing her studies at Elsenburg Agriculture College in 1994, Lisa Goodwin was appointed as winemaker at Mirandal Wine Estate in 1998, making her the first female winemaker in Durbanville. And as the first female winemaker in Durbanville, she has kept tradition alive and strong. She believes that wine should encapsulate the place and time. Her intent is to make the best and most interesting wines with a willingness to work with Mother Nature rather than against her. With modern cellar techniques, they continue to make award-winning wines from the high-quality Shiraz, Pinotage, Merlot, Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay and Pinot Noir grapes produced here. I heard you can even make your own wine and receive a personal bottle one year later. Mirandal Wine Academy offers volunteers the opportunity to experience all the aspects of winemaking from the vineyard to the cellar. Practical concepts in the wine production process, including early morning picking of the grapes in the vineyards and transporting them to the cellar. Berry selection and crushing, prepping for fermentation, manual punch downs and daily monitoring of the fermentation process are done in the cellar. Basic laboratory work, wine tastings and sommelier training forms part of this practical experience. Winemaking techniques are then further enhanced with lectures in South African wine and wines of the world. I think we should sign up for this. For sure. We have so much to show you. People to introduce you to and good wines to taste. And be sure to follow all our future episodes.